Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial by the website Teacher. I'm Scott and in this video we're going to look at setting up an FTP account for your website. FTP accounts can be used in clients like FileZilla to access and manage the files stored on your website hosting account. And in some cases, some website applications you've installed will request an FTP access account. So I'm going to show you how you can create those using cPanel. So first thing you need to do is open up a browser. In the address bar, type in your website followed by forward slash cPanel. This will load the cPanel login page. And now just log in. So now from the cPanel dashboard, we can type in here FTP, or we can scroll down until we see the files section and select FTP accounts. From the FTP accounts page, we have a few things we can look at here. We can add an FTP account, so we can create a new one. We can view previously created FTP accounts, which you can currently see there are none. That's because this is a fresh website, so yours will look the same. And there's also special FTP accounts. Now for the most part, we're going to ignore the special FTP accounts. We're not going to worry about using those. We're going to create a new one of our own. So let's say I wanted to create an FTP account to upload and manage the files on my website through a FTP client like FileZilla. I'm going to create a new account. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it upload. And you'll notice this has the at mysite.com here or yoursite.com. If you have multiple websites, this will be a drop down box. You can choose which website you want to create this for. And now I just want to type in a password. You can type in your own password, or if you want a very strong one, you can generate a password using the password generator. So I'm just going to select this. I'm going to press generate password a few times, and that one looks good enough. So now I'm going to copy all this, right click, copy this. So you want to copy and paste this into a safe location or write it down in a notepad. And remember it's case sensitive, so you will need to use lowercase and uppercase characters. Once you've saved that somewhere safe, select I've copied this password to a secure location and then use password. Or you can type your own password in, just make sure it's reasonably strong. Now for the directory, this will be where the user we're creating now or the account we're creating will have access to. Now because this is for myself to upload and manage all the files for my website, I want to give this access directly to public underscore HTML. But if you're creating this for a user to allow them to access only certain part of the site, just put in the restriction here of the directory they're allowed to access. So you'll see this is currently is set to public HTML and then forward slash upload. So this user is only going to be able to currently access all files within the upload folder. But I don't want that, so I'm going to remove that and have it set to just public HTML. That'll give this account access to all our website files. And now the quota, I'm just going to leave this as unlimited, meaning this user can upload or download as much as they want. And then I'm going to select create FTP account. So now that that's successfully created, you'll notice that it shows up in the FTP accounts section directly under here. So this will show all the accounts you create. So that's all you have to do to create the account. Now let's look at how to get the settings or the information required to configure either the client or the application that needs access to this FTP account. This is quite easy. And all you need to do is locate the account you created from the list here. In my case, and probably in your case, this will only be the one. And then all we do is click configure FTP client. So this will give us some auto configure files, which you can use if you want. If it's for either FileZilla, Core FTP or Cyberduck. However, here are the manual settings that will work with any client or any application. So that's your username, the server address and the port number to use. You'll notice there's no password there. That's because you need to know your password or saved it somewhere safe. Your password will actually never be shown again. So if you've lost it, you're going to have to change password to create a new one. You can change your password at any time just by locating the account you want to change your password for and change the password. So that's all there is to creating FTP accounts and finding the information you require to configure the clients. If you're watching this video on YouTube and it's helped you, please hit that like button and subscribe. And for more tutorials on cPanel or creating a website in general, 
check out my website at www.thewebsiteteacher.com. So that's all for this video, and thanks for watching.